Good morning, everyone. So glad to see you again this morning. My name is April. If we haven't met before, I'm the Connections Coordinator here, and I'm coming to you this morning with great news. Have you heard? The church sanctuary is reopening again on September the 6th. We're all so excited. We've all been missing it. Uh, we'll have our regular services for 8.30 modern worship and 11 o'clock traditional that morning. And we can't wait to see you all. Uh, we will be wearing masks, but we'll space everybody accordingly in the sanctuary to make sure we you know, meet the six foot guidelines. If you could go on the church website at fumcroycity.life and go to the reopening page. There's a little question down at the bottom just to tell us if you're gonna come that Sunday so that we make sure we have room for everybody. So we hope to see you on September the 6th, either online or in person. Also, our church office with reopening is actually gonna open on Monday. Jonelle will be back in the office. Um, I'm sure Pastor Chris will be there a lot of the time too. Um, Monday through Thursday, nine to three. So if you need to do any business, uh, the church office is ready for you starting tomorrow. Also, coming up, all of our fall studies are loaded on the church website. Again, that's fumcroycestudy.life. Everything you need to know is going to be found there. It's the best place to go if you have questions about what's coming up or just about anything around the church. Uh, we have four different studies that are starting in September. Pastor Chris will have a Wednesday morning study called Epic of Eden, and that's a study of the Old Testament. Um, on Thursday evenings at 7.30, there's a study led by Dan and Leslie Schrag called Alpha. On Tuesdays at 6.30, we have a new group called Soul Sisters. Um, that's a women's Bible study called Seamless. And so Tuesdays at 6.30, they meet, they meet in people's homes um, and have a little potluck dinner with it. So you might want to join that. And God's Girls on Sundays at 4 o'clock, they meet every other week. They're doing a new study called Encounter the Father. So men's group. Also, guys, we haven't forgotten about you. The men's group's getting started here again soon, and you can find all the information about their Saturday morning gatherings on our church website. Well, there's a lot going on. If you have questions, please go to the website. You can always click on the chat feature, um, and you, you know, Pastor Chris or I or Jonelle, somebody can answer your question. Um, but like I said, everything you need to know is found on the church website, so I hope that you'll go visit that today. You guys have a great time during worship today. We'll see you in the sanctuary again soon. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to worship today. I want to give you a quick update on the pantry. Uh, last week I mentioned we had several new volunteers, uh, and this week we had several more people volunteer, so I want to give a special thanks to them for assisting us with what we do. Uh, also, on behalf of myself and the rest of the our new bed a bread food pantry board. I want to thank everyone who volunteers with us, uh, all the ones on uh, Wednesdays and Fridays when we go to Walmart, uh, on uh, Thursdays and Saturdays when we're with clients. Uh, we couldn't do it without you, and so on behalf of myself and them, I want to give you a great big thank you for helping us during this pandemic, uh, and we're plowing through, and we can, we'll continue to do so because of your help. Uh, again, thanks a lot. Uh, and now over to Pastor Chris. Thanks, Richard. Hey, good morning, everyone. It is so good to be with you this morning as we continue our study or our series on the Apostles' Creed. I hope that's been a blessing to you and that you've learned some things and it's helped you to think about what it is that we profess every single time we say this ancient creed of the church. I wanted to go ahead and go over a couple of things. I know April already mentioned that Saturday, uh, Sunday, September the 6th, we will uh, start in-person worship again. And she mentioned the uh, little survey that's on our reopening page. It's not a survey to see who will let in or who he won't let in, or it's not taking reservations or anything like that. But one of the things that I want to make sure that we are very intentional about is that I know not everybody feels comfortable coming back into the sanctuary. So we want to make sure uh, it's going to be easy to reconnect with those who, who, who come back to worship with us, but I don't want anyone to, uh, to fall off of, of, our, of our radar as we start opening up and, and we have just full focus on what is happening in the sanctuary. So please, please, especially if you, uh, if you plan on coming, please just make that little check which service you're planning on coming to, or if you're not planning on coming, please let us know so that we can make sure that we continue to, to reach out to you and, and let you know that your church family loves 
and cares for you. The second thing that I want to talk about reopening is that we need AV help. Uh, we have had a, a, a small team of uh, AV help uh, during uh, the, the shutdown that we've done or, or the online worship that we've done. Uh, Jared Edelhauser has uh, been tremendous in helping us reimagine how we do things with cameras and with uh, video stuff. Uh, my wife Tracy, she's back behind the uh, pro presenter uh, thing, doing all the pro presenter stuff. And uh, Cheryl Annette Parker has been in a couple of times to help out uh, when Tracy's not been able, able to be there. Uh, there is a, a Google link, a Google sheet, uh, asking for volunteers. Uh, if, if you would like to help out with this ministry, which is going to be extremely vital because we, we've made some changes with how we do audiovisual stuff, uh, just to make sure that what we put out online is hopefully as good as what people will experience um, when they're here in the sanctuary. So we need volunteers to be a part of our AV uh, system. Uh, another thing that's going to be happening since we'll be uh, starting in-person worship on September the 13th, we are going to celebrate our confirmands. We had six uh, students that went through uh, confirmation classes last year and we're planning on confirming them on the Sunday after Easter, but COVID happened, so we are going to confirm them on the uh, 13th. Uh, another thing, uh, God's Girls, April mentioned that that was every other week, uh, talking with Debbie Summers and Ruth Cherry and Tracy. Uh, that is going to be every week. So they're not going to skip every other week, but that'll be every week uh, starting on September the 13th. A couple of other things, uh, YouTube. I know we have a lot of people that are watching the service on YouTube. Please take a moment to, uh, to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, First Royce City. Uh, like the videos and also uh, put a little notification bell there so that you'll be notified when something new happens there. Uh, we post a lot of videos on our YouTube channel with our, our worship services, my Wednesday night prayer event. Uh, also, if there are any special announcements or anything that we have going on, we always have it there so you can have a place to go and, and check out what is happening in our church. And finally, I just want to mention uh, giving. Thank you, uh, as I've always said, for how you continue to uh, support us through your giving. We're, we're a little low right now. I think it's because of the summer law and everything, but if you are looking for ways to uh, give to our church, if you go to our website, fumcroycity.life, there is a button on the bottom left-hand corner that says give. If you click on there, that'll take you through a giving flow that you can fill out to uh, set up a one-time gift or a reoccurring gift. We also have ways for you to help donate to our Daily Bread Food Pantry and the Crooked House Ministry there too to help uh, make sure that we continue to do the work and the ministry on the life of the church. Well, I have that we are close three minutes until, or two minutes until worship. So I invite you just to uh, sit back, make yourself uh, feel at home, at home, and prepare your hearts and minds to receive what God has for us today. Thanks for joining us.